So welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to begin setting up the very basics for our Idle Tycoon game, the interface only consisting of just the text label that will show us how many stores we own and a buy button that will let us increment that label. So basically, we're going to start out with zero stores. You'll click the buy button. You'll have one store. Click the buy button again, two stores. So we're going to start out real simple. We can orientate ourselves to our screen by coming here to our main camera and, and double clicking. And uh, at this point, we want to create a panel to hold our store. So I'm going to just come up here and click on main, our main camera. And uh, actually, we can just do this under unt Untitled. And under our main camera here, we're going to choose right click. And under UI, choose panel. And that's going to create our panel here. And it's going to take up by default the full size of the screen. So I'm going to use my scroll on my mouse to zoom out here. So I'm using my scroll on my mouse to zoom out. And I can hold down the middle button to pan around and move this so it's where I want it to be on the screen. And you can also double click it like right here to get it to center up on your screen as well. So now that we've got it centered up and we run, we're going to see a, a kind of a light bluish tan uh, a color here. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit smaller so we can see our store stand out. So I can pick these corners up here and move them in like so, the blue handles. And then we'll just make this for our, our first store up here about that size. And now when I run it, you'll see there's the layout rectangle for our store. So there's a lot to the layout in Unity, and this course is not designed to be an exhaustive uh, walking you through all the intricacies of this editor. There's a lot to it. I want to show you how to build a game. So I'm going to show you the simple things that I'm doing here, but there's to, sh to understand this a little bit, when I click on Inspector here, this is going to show you the attributes for the, the object that you've selected. So when I click on Panel, I'm seeing right here the panel details. So I can see that it says Panel, and I can see these Rec Transform component that shows me where it's positioned at the left, right, top, bottom coordinate relative to its parent. So you'll see as I move this, you can see these move here. So you can position it wherever you want. That's going to update the rec transform here. And then you can use anchors and so forth to determine uh, how this resizes. We'll get into a lot more of that later. Right now we're just trying to get a basic interface set up so you can start having some fun. So now we got our panel here. Let's go ahead and add a text label for showing how many stores we own. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And under my panel here, I'm going to go back under right click and choose UI and choose text. And this is going to put a text object now on our panel. And you can see that it's nested under the panel. And I'm going to actually name this to say store count text and I'm going to name our panel here to say store panel and here let's go ahead and click on our text and come down here to our color and change this to white so it's going to stand out a little better when we run this and rather than having it say new text I'm just going to put a, a single bracket and an X and then and another bracket to show that it's going to hold a number there. And let's go ahead and make it a little bigger so it's easier to see. So we're going to make it 24. And now when we run, we can see our X, and that's going to hold the count of how many stores that we've uh, bought. And now we need a button. So let's come here to our panel, and once again, UI, and choose Button, just like that. And we're going to come in here and just resize it a little bit, you know, move it over. Don't doesn't need to be this big. So I'm going to make it a little smaller by just holding down the left button here and resizing our button. 
Now, uh, if I expand this little triangle here, I can find the text of that button and come into our button text here and change it to say buy. And just like that, we've got a button. Oops, I didn't want to drag that because we're, I've just got the text part of it. If I wanted to drag the whole button, I want to make sure the button's selected. So we've got our buy button that we're going to click, and this is where we're going to increment and show the uh, number of stores we own. And so that's where we're going to start. We can run just to see our basic interface setup at this point. So I'm going to stop this lecture right now because this is basically the interface setup for our project. In the very next lecture, we're going to set up our finite state machine and actually get it where we can click and purchase and buy stores. And we'll actually see Playmaker in action in our next lecture.